everybody, this is Avril Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your performance in the new Skyrim Special Edition. Uh, when I say improve performance, I will show you what you can change to increase uh, the number of FPS without decreasing too much the uh, visual quality of the game. First of all, I need to show you something. If you have um, a screen size um, that is like uh, 1440p, uh, so a bigger screen, a big, uh, it, like a 21 by 9, not 16 by 9, you can change it manually in the config file. The config file, you will find it on the document, my game, Skyrim Special Edition, and you can change this here. Also, the other thing that you can do that you will not see in the option, it's the VSync. You can put zero here and you will put the VSync at off. The only thing you guys should know is this game after 60 FPS, uh, you will have some problem with the, um, we will have some bug because of the uh, the physics engine of the game, Avoc, uh, can't go over 60 FPS. So if you VSync off, make sure that you're locking your uh, frame with your uh, software from AMD or Nvidia at 60 FPS. Very important. Also, all the parameter, graphic parameter are there, so you can change it by yourself. The good thing about this file is you can change the resolution of, um, for example, the shadow or all the type of um, effect that you can have in the game. Because if you're using the um, uh, option setting, you will have high, medium, or low. So you just have like three bracket to change. Here you can very, you can do like manual stuff. Uh, to to optimize your game so if you want to test that you should do it at the end make sure you save and also make sure that uh, you're clicking read only and okay because if you don't read only the game can override your file if you want to just for example uh, put the um, vsync at off but you want to use a console to change your graphic setting change your graphic first save it will update this file and after that uh, put the uh, vsync at off and put the file at read only if you want to make sure that all your graphic settings saved so now let's go to the option in the game uh, first of all if you have a low hand graphic card and even medium uh hand and um even integrate sorry integrate graphic uh air go with fx aa you should you should not have like some problem to run it and honestly you need anti-aliasing because if you don't you will see like a big decrease in your visual quality and i really don't like a game without anti-aliasing if you have a good rig go for the taa you will see a really nice improvement over there let's go to avan setting so first of all this part you can gain a lot of fps shadow quality shadow distance is crazy if you put this at low and medium you can gain 15 to 20 fps just to do that for me shadow it's not something important in a game so to put that at low um, you can gain a lot of fps from it and you don't decrease the visual but technically yes because you don't have shadow but for me shadow is not something like it's not texture it's not resolution it's not anti-aliasing so um you can definitely uh, put those at low if you have some trouble to run your uh, game if you have like 50 52 fps just go at high or medium do some tests like this and you'll probably gain your 60 fps after that dequal quantity and god ray dequal they didn't see a big improvement one fps by bracket but god ray on my AMD, amd card it was crazy i got like three to four fps by bracket so you can get a lot with the godry on uh, the other side i tested on the nvidia card and i got one to two fps increase improvement um so yeah uh, this game seems to have some trouble to run with the uh, amd card don't know why probably they will amd will patch it or even uh, bohemia um uh, the, ma the, uh, the makers of the game will patch it sorry i forgot the name I have more EMEA Interactive, but it's not, it's Bethesda, so <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, after that, this one doesn't change anything for me, but those five, you can get one to two FPS depending on your video card. For an example, the Lens Flare, uh, I, I had like a really nice improvement on AMD car, and Ambient Inclusion, I have an, another uh, improvement, nice improvement on my NVIDIA. If you have to run the game at low everywhere, for sure, uncheck everything. But if you're running the game at minion slash I or even ultra, don't 
uncheck those uh, effect doesn't change a lot of uh, you will not get a, a nice improvement with them the other part that you can have a nice improvement it's over there view distance this is crazy it's a really nice option to have though um, you can change the view distance of all the object but also you can say and the distant object detail you can select the detail of the object so for example if you want to see very far but you don't care about your graphic when you see an object very far you can say for example here low so you will see like far but um <clears throat> sorry i just got a message <laughs> you will see very far but uh the object detail will be at low so it will be um, a nice gain for you if you put this at ultra uh, versus slow you can uh, 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 sorry if you go ultra to low you can like gain 10 fps just with that it's it's crazy you should test it uh, and if you want like a middle uh, between them you can go with high or medium and just lower a little bit your view distance for all those object grass fade item fade uh, large object distance this one is the key uh, if the shadow didn't uh, give you your 60 FPS here, you, you should just use it. For example, grass fade, you don't care about grass, just lower it a little bit. And you can select the quality of the visual when you see far. So that's about it for the graphic option in the game. If you have any question, uh, just post me your rig, CPU, graphic card, and maybe your RAM. And I will uh, try to uh, answer you the best that I can. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. Peace.